Hi friends, welcome to Video Tushin. Mobile industry is grooming and so the need of testing mobile application. Selenium, an open source functional web automation tool provides solution to test mobile application with two different framework arrangements named Selendroid and Appium. In this session, I am going to explain Selendroid and Appium automation capabilities at high level and also will look at the comparison in two. So, I start first with Selendroid. Selendroid is a test automation framework which drives off user interface of Android native and hybrid applications in the mobile web. Tests are written using the WebDriver client interface. Selendroid can be used on emulators and real devices and can be integrated as a node into the Selenium grid for scaling and parallel testing. Following is a list of Selendroid features. Selendroid supports testing mobile web using built-in Android driver view application. Same concept is being used to automate native or hybrid apps. Selendroid can interact with multiple Android devices including emulators or hardware devices at the same time. It can be integrated as a node into the Selenium grid for scaling and parallel testing. Selendroid has built an inspector to simplify test case development. Appium is an open source test automation framework for use with native and hybrid mobile apps. It drives iOS and Android applications using Selenium WebDriver. Appium is built on the idea that testing native applications shouldn't require including SDK or recompiling your application and that you should be able to use your preferred test practices, frameworks, and tools. Here is list of Appium features. Appium provides cross-platform solution for native and hybrid mobile automation that is Android and iOS. Appium aims to automate any mobile application from any language and any test framework with full access to backend interfaces and database from test code. Appium also does support automating web application in mobile Safari on iOS or Chrome on Android. Appium drives Apple's user interface automation library for iOS support and for Android support uses the user interface framework for newer platforms and Selendroid for older Android platforms. In this slide, I have pulled together the differences and the similarities of Selendroid and Appium. This analysis should help to decide which framework approach is best for our automation need. Selendroid means Selenium for Android and so does support testing Android applications whereas Appium on the other hand provides great testing solution on Android and iOS along with some support to Firefox OS which currently is in budding stage. Selendroid is able to test native, hybrid, and mobile web application for Android. Appium does allow testing for native, hybrid, mobile web, and web application for Android and iOS. Selendroid does not support cross-platform testing as it is based around Android. Appium provides testing for multiple platforms including user agent based approach which is not inherently supported in Selendroid. Both Selendroid and Appium can be used on emulators and real devices and can be integrated as a node into the Selenium grid for scaling and parallel testing. Cloud-based testing can also be performed using both framework arrangements. Since these are two different Selenium frameworks, so have different system requirements to enable work with them. So, to conclude, Appium does support all the mobile testing features which Selendroid does. In addition, it also provides solution to test iOS mobile application, user agent and cross-platform. We reached to the end of this session. Hope you like this information. Thanks for visiting my channel and watching my tutorial. 
If you like this video, please click on like button and do share it with your colleagues and friends. You would also like to subscribe to my channel to get latest update of upcoming tutorials. Once again, thanks.